zakat is a payment that is made annually under Islamic law on certain kinds of property and use for charitable and religious purposes, one of the five pillars of Islam. Okay. Zakat Fitra is a self-imposed zakat on each individual Muslim, male and female who are capable of with the said condition. While zakat earning is a payment which includes allowance and bonuses that one receives for work done or service according to a certain period of time. Okay, so there are five phases in this project. Phase one, analyze the problem. In phase one, there are three techniques need to be known, which are decomposition, pattern recognition, and abstraction. In decomposition, in decomposition technique, the problems to calculate zakat are divided into specific parts, uh, which are zakat fitra and zakat on earning. Okay, in pattern recognition, the similarity and differences between zakat fitra and zakat on earning are compared so that the calculation of zakat are more efficient. Okay, so in abstraction technique, only the important aspects are included in the calculation of zakat. So the table shows the detail of the second aspect needed in calculation of zakat. Okay. So phase two, design the program. During the design process of the program, it is important that programmers are able to visualize the way in which program will work. Certain tools such as Circo and Flowchart are used to simplify the design process and allow the developer to see the program before the actual coding is used. Okay, so here is the Circo that I have made. Number one, start. Number two, show welcome to the calculator, calculation of the Zaka Fitra and Zaka Noani. Number three, trust equal to Zaka Fitra. If yes, enter your member in household. Calculate number of households multiply Zaka Fitra rate. Show the total of zakat that needs to be paid and then repeat step 3. So this repeat, uh, as you can see, repeat step 3 is the loop that happened. So when we go again to number 3, just equal to zakat we trust. So if the user say no, then uh, the work will, the program will calculate zakat on our needs. So if uh, the user say no, then enter your total income, enter your total expenses, calculate total income uh, minus total expenses. By 2.5%, show total of zakat, repeat step 3 again. So we go again at step 3, but if the user say no to every question, then it's the end. Okay. Okay, now I'll show you the flow chart. As you can see, the longest arrow is the loop that happened. Okay. It's in the same way as the circuit that I made before, but it helps a user to understand more about the calculation. Okay. Phase 3, code the program. Okay, in phase 3, there are two techniques that need to be used, which are decomposition and pattern recognition. Okay, since I already explained on uh, decomposition, decomposition just now, I will only focus on pattern recognition here. So, the table below shows the step in the pattern recognition technique. Okay, as you can see, the input that we need to know are the zakat putra and zakat not only. It's just the same way as the process. Uh, that we need to know is the calculation of these two zakat and then the output is the zakat that we need to pay. Okay. Phase 4, debugging and testing. Okay, debugging is important to ensure that the program does not have any errors so that it can run properly with, uh, without error. There are two types of error which are system error and logical error. Okay, so uh, the, uh, these two types of error uh, can be prevented by doing the decomposition, pattern recognition and abstraction technique. So now I'll show you how the scratch work. Okay, firstly you need to click the start button and then we'll, uh, you will pop on like this. Okay, so firstly we need to enter yes. Okay, we just set up. So I got five. Okay, so here is the loop. Let uh, okay, the program will ask you again to uh, to help the user uh, to calculate zakat more and more endlessly. Uh, so, uh, if you say yes, okay, then it will ask you again. Then I choose zakat on earning. Okay, so if we enter no then the program will stop. Okay. Okay, run again. Huh? Run, run again. again. What? Okay. 
Please start. Okay, again. Okay, yes. How about uh, if you feel no? No. Here. Okay. No. Uh, no, no, before. Start again. Okay, no. What happened? Uh, the program will stop because the user doesn't want to calculate uh, the Zaka. To calculate the Zaka. Okay, start again. Start again. Okay. One, yes. Yes. Okay, just feel uh, Zaka. Zaka. Zaka only. Okay, and then. What happened? Oh. You know what I mean? You just feel zakat and what happened to your program? Okay, the program uh, cannot work because the input that uh, the enter is not valid. So, the program doesn't have enough memory to uh, calculate the zakat because uh, the user doesn't enter zakat on zakat filter or zakat on earnings. So, this program uh, doesn't know what the user wants. So, it will... Um, it will Program cannot work anymore because you know the error have been the error has uh, the error uh, the error uh, has been happened. It's not, so it's not error. It's not error, isn't it? Uh, the, the program start again. Hmm? It's right. The, if you feel that card only and then uh, you enter the program, uh, we start again. Is that? Oh, oh, yes. Okay. Oh, I see. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. Can I shut up? Okay. Thank you very much. Hey, no, no. Stop. Wait. The last piece. The uh, last. Okay. Go on. Okay. We start documentation. In the last piece, uh, which is the documentation, admin will provide system documentation and user documentation. It is very important to develop effective documentation to ensure the developer and stakeholders are headed in the same way. Okay. So there are two types of documentation as I said before. Number one, system documentation. System documentation represents documents that describe the system itself and its part. It has a need to understand the coding that has been established and make the coding much easier for improvement in the future. Okay, user documentation. In, on the other hand, is further broken down into library documentation and user manual. Is cover manuals that are mainly prepared for end user of the product and system administrator. Okay, so here are the two types of user documentation in library documentation. Library documentation provides information about the software, hardware, tutorials, and guides, while user manual includes troubleshooting manuals, installation, and reference manual. So, my suggestion for improvement okay, this coding can be better by adding adding variety of zakat. So I choose zakat on business so that there will be more users that can use the zakat for later. Okay. So here are the circuit. So here is the circuit that I've changed. Okay, what as you can see the difference is uh, at only this part. So okay. If you go to number three choice equal to zakat feature, so if the user say no, it will calculate uh, zakat only. But if the user say no again, then it will go to zakat on business. Okay. Okay, so this is the full chart. Okay, so as you can see, the longest error are the loop that happened. Okay, I think that's all for me. Thank you very much for listening. You're welcome. Okay.